Today I'm going to be showing you how to make corn tortillas homemade. You can use these for tacos, fajitas, burritos, everything, even for wraps and sandwiches. So here's the recipe. You need a large bowl, then you need a uh, one teaspoon of sea salt, you need uh, two cups of masa harina, which is corn flour, then you need two cups of water. So we'll start by adding the two cups of masa harina, which is corn flour, to um, the bowl. Then we'll, we'll add the salt. We'll mix those all together. As you can see, this is yellow corn flour, which is completely different to corn starch, okay? Uh, and then I'm gonna slowly start adding the water. The water should get absorbed. If it's still too sticky after you add this all uh, or to uh, dry, you can add more of the water. So as you can see, it's starting to become good. Cover with a damp towel and leave for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'd um, use an ice cream scoop and make 35 to 40 grams uh, balls, which is kind of like a fist size ball. Then what I did was uh, I'd push it down uh, and squeeze it between uh, two layers of wax paper. And then I'd stick it onto the hot plate or saucepan and push it down. Then I'd peel away the layer of wax paper, as I'm showing you now. And uh, there, then it was done, and it was flexible and great. So over here, I marinated the beef, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sear it on a pan, which I'm going to use a hot plate, and then later on, while it's cooked, I wait for it to cool, and I pull um, the um, I pull the beef. Uh, which is a good technique which uh, a lot of Mexican dishes uh, require so yeah and uh, for the spice mix I use fajita spices um, and I use lots of other seasonings uh, you can pick whatever ones you like so here's the beef um, I'm also gonna put some cheese uh, this is cheddar cheese um, then I have some lettuce I'm gonna pull it apart and cut it a bit when I'm putting it on and then of course sour cream which is lemon and uh, lemon or lemon and um, vinegar then of course here are the corn tortillas uh, I covered them with a damp towel so they don't dry 